Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Rules Tarot 20. It being a general reading, it might not resonate with everybody, so it's really important that you take whatever does resonate, whatever feels right, whatever, you know, resonates, and the rest of it just push it to the side, okay? If it doesn't seem like it makes sense to you, then most likely it is not meant for you. That being said, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button. Also, um, if ever you would like to have a personal reading, you're in search of some answers into your love life perhaps, or career, or guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, assist you in finding those answers that you're searching for. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. I'm really excited about this reading. This reading is all about channeled messages from your spirit guides. So your spirit guides want to talk with you. They want to give you some messages. So I have three messages here. As they are for the sign of Scorpio, very important since they are channeled. They're for the sign of Scorpio. That is it. Um, and I'm going to finish it off with a an activation card at the very ending. So um, this reading here, the, um, the messages from the spirit guides are going to be really about trying to develop that higher understanding of spirit and remembering that, you know what, you are never, ever, ever truly alone. It's so very important that I do stress that out, okay? So with no further ado, let's begin. We're going to begin with the very first message that we have, and this is forgive yourself. Now, when you're in school, you're not always going to give the right answers, right? Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. In school, sometimes you're going to act out also, and sometimes you just don't focus on the lesson at hand. Now, in school, sometimes you are going to be cruel. Have you ever looked back at the time in school and not been able to forgive yourself for those transgressions? Probably not. Well, you have chosen Earth as your school ground. This is like your school. It's like being at school every single day when you're here. Okay, this is about learning. It's about growing. It's about that expansion. Now, you should be just as lenient. You are here to learn. It's really, really important for you to forgive yourself when you make some errors. Everybody does. And it only makes you grow. It only makes you learn. Living with the guilt of the past deeds blocks your energy of the future. And each soul progresses in its own very time. No comparison. But when you don't allow yourself to forgive, you don't allow that forgiveness, you're shutting off the heart and you're telling the universe that you're just not worthy. You are not worthy to receive. This is what you're telling the universe. Now, if you have caused pain to another, it's really imperative to apologize to them in addition to forgiving yourself. The guides can't stress enough the importance of forgiveness, either to yourself or to another. Carrying the negative energy of guilt as well as a negative energy of resentment back to the spirit world causes unwanted karmic entanglements. Not clearing this energy while you're still in this physical dimension before you make your own transition to spirit is really a huge source of regret for many, many souls. So you really do need to act now, okay? So this is your very first message. We're going to move over to your following message from spirits. Like attracts like. So this message here represents a major tenet of wisdom that the guides would like to impart. The law of attraction tells you that whenever energy that you focus your awareness on, that is the energy that you are going to manifest. If you are the creator of your reality, it may seem like straightforward advice, but life on this earth is filled with fear in its many, many, many guises. And the day-to-day -day distractions that prevent you from focusing on love and compassion can lead you down a road of anxiety, of tension, of stress. And if you want love and you want joy in your love in your life, you must expect love and joy 
in your life. If you were to live with this basic truth, you would learn to be mindful of your daily life choices and their consequences. And in this physical dimension, it's easy to give in to fear and to anxiety, but you must realize that it will be those energies that you attract to yourself. And you must make a conscious effort to turn the fear-based energies that you are creating with your mind into thoughts, thoughts of compassion, of forgiveness, of understanding, mercy, tolerance, and of service. No one can ever escape this law, for it rules supreme. Like any regimen, this takes practice, and if this card appears in your messages like it has, it really is trying to tell you to look out for an event that may create you some stress. Consciously, you need to acknowledge it and you need to focus on solutions that turn that energy into a positive outcome. Okay? Like attracts like, just like it said. It's really like the universe. If you give out positive, you're going to receive positive back. Your final message from your spirit guides are release any toxic relationships. In order for your soul to thrive, it needs to be in an environment of love an environment of love and harmony. When there is a discordance, there's an imbalance, your soul suffers and the body is often left with just emotional or physical pain. And oft times, you know, souls like you who are making progress on their spiritual path is, are going to attract other people who may just be drawn into your light and can siphon off all of your energy. And it's going to be leaving you feeling depleted and empty. And it's always the first impulse of the evolved soul to want to assist their fellow travelers who seem to be struggling. But there comes a time when you must realize that their path and your path have very little in common. And that it is best that you part ways. Sometimes a soul is brought into your journey so that you can prove to yourself that you have the withdrawal to, to release them. Toxic relationships come in all forms and they can really be detrimental in many ways. And in your life, you must attempt to release those who are not in accordance with your being and do not inspire your soul. You may need to restructure your sense of healthy boundaries with people into your life. Do not allow kindness to be mistaken as an entry for others to mistreat you. Life is too short to be with others who are not enjoying the adventure and who aren't helping you to co-create the world that you want to live in. So your three messages. Forgive yourself, like attracts like, and release the toxic relationships. We're going to move over to your activation card now. And we have release. So we're coming in correlation with the release of the toxic relationships, but with a little bit more. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies right now to the loving forces of the universe. So um, the moment has arrived for you to truly usher in the healing power of love by letting go all of the illusions that you have been holding on to. Um, you know, you've been holding on to them and they no longer serve your highest good. You now have the power to release that stagnant energy of any old emotions and behaviors such as shame, regret, self-criticism, and you need to create yourself a new space for love, for self-acceptance and forgiveness. You know, you're an energetic being and besides all of the energy that you attract to you from within, an equal amount of that energy is directed at you by external forces and you have no control over the intention that is behind that energy, but you do have control whether you allow it into your space or not. Okay, so this, my dear friend Scorpio, is the conclusion of your reading with your spirit guides. I hope that you were able to resonate. I hope it made sense. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions, um, you know how to contact me or if you'd like a reading, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there. I'll see you soon.